I'd like to officially announce my retirement from the radio business. I am going to work for Ted Jenkins and Auction Financial as a financial advisor. Uh, because the first success story of one Jason Bailey is the stock tip that I gave each and every one of you uh, under the name of Watt. I forget what the company's called. I don't think you're allowed it's to say that. Energis. Energis, are you, yeah. are you yeah. to say that. Uh, it's called Energis. Are you allowed to say it? Energis. No, I, I'm not, I'm not the, allowed uh, to give stock tips on the radio. But like I, I can tell you off air, but you can. And, and what did I, I do? Will say, I will say, I have to give Bailey a lot of credit here. He's made literally 100% in three months. Get some of that. Well, I got to give Belly a lot of credit here on this. And give South Side some credit, too, because... You listen to me. I yeah. listen to you, and I'm also... In the, yeah, you, in the, you rode along on this pretty I, good. I did. I'm dancing in the streets right next to you. Dancing in the streets. 100%. But, <laughs> by the way, how about the Wendy's call that uh, I made not so long ago? Uh, so it was a hundred percent move too. hundred percent off off that chick. I'm ready to hang up my shingle. You guys can take over. I tell you what, you know why don't we do an investment show? Seriously, I don't think it'd be very good. You don't. <laughs> I mean, we just talk about Watt and Wendy's. What, if he <laughs> if he's oxygen, what do you want to call us? It's Bailey and Southside barely breathing. <laughs> Financial. So this uh, this energized company that that I read about a couple months ago, it's it's going to be the forefront of the wireless charging companies. Eventually, it'll just be this company. I, f I firmly believe this. We bought it at like eight was it eight eight dollars a share at eight dollars, and it closed yesterday up almost ten percent at just over eighteen dollars right. a share. Now the trick is when to take your profit, right? Well, that's up to you, dude. That's all you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hey, you heard the conversation Ted Jenkins with Auction Financial that we were having, right? Uh, Nathan's our producer. I'm trying to talk some sense into him. He's spending way too much money on this wedding. I'm like, take the money, invest the money, have yourself, go go someplace and do a get hitched uh, honeymoon all in one. Come back, throw a party at a moose lodge on the cheap, hire some kid to play music off his laptop. <laughs> Take some pictures with your cell phone. Uh, if you want to record, you can do that. Uh, Snapchat or whatever. And save all kinds of money. Come to you and invest it. Makes sense, right? You know, I can't say that I disagree. You know, the, the, oh, the, the, the truth is that a lot of people that spend large amounts of money on wedding, it, they will say it's their special day. But 10 years later, they can't re remember Uncle Murray, who was like a third, you know, third person that they were there, some family member. And, uh, it, you know, spending big money on that is not generally the best way to start out your finances. Dude, no. my wedding brought people together. My my uh, my now uncle and, and now granddaddy hadn't talked in years. Weddings? And they showed up at this wedding wedding and it reunited them wedding yeah. weddings cause problems reunited and that's all they do they cause problems hey, are you taking family money yeah i mean we're all gonna uh, chip in some see that's cool and y'all got two great families man you're just in it together i mean these are just good people is there a way to do it cheaper ted I mean, well, I, I mean, I, my look, suggestion, of course. But. There are always ways to still have a nice wedding, especially here in the Atlanta area. A lot of people will have these barn weddings, and you know they, they'll be outside of the city. I went uh, to one I've of gone those. to ones all the way down in Noonan and all the way up and coming. And the reality is that you can rent some of these out. And Barns. one of the big one of the big keys is to not do it on the main day. You know, a lot of people do it on a Saturday. No, you do it Tuesday nights. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, you, you are just a piece <laughs> of work. A Sunday, though, but a Sunday day type wedding is going. To, or that'll be a lot cheaper than doing it on like a Friday night or a Saturday. So and that you'll makes be able to sense. Get the venue cheaper. When you're walking down doing communion, you just ask the dude that's giving you the little bread chip. You'd be like, "Hey, bro, can you marry us while we're here?" <laughs> it's not. It's not the bread chip. It's the body of Christ. And then you take uh, a shot. He gives you a free shot. You get a free shot. Well, and that's shot, also shot, shot. that's also the blood of Christ. Uh, let me go ahead and tell you that the the barn thing. Been to a couple of those. That's not a bad idea, Nathans. But I will tell you, and Ted, correct me if I'm wrong. On the cheapest weddings, January, February, as far as the calendar year. Right, spring that's and fall. Spring and fall are generally the times to avoid. In Alaska, that's when it's going to be the most expensive. Yes, those venues are harder to rent out in the uh, in the winter time, January, February. Even sometimes in the main heat of summer, you can get a better deal. But fall and spring are generally. What, what about what about the getting married honeymoon all in one? Like you, you know, there's some vineyards here in Georgia. You go up there. It's got some nice little house, little B and B. You get some dude to say I do to you guys. You swap out rings. By the way, don't overprice your rings because the second ring that's another thing i forgot to school you on oh, he's got this <laughs> this this is this is crazy you've already bought her a nice ring right chicks get two rings and you get one that's like a third of the cost it's a total scam don't go all out on the second ring 
because it's it's a it's a crap tradition. Anyway, well, oh. the, ve the the venue not only the date but the venue itself matters. You know, it's, you know, it's funny in here in Atlanta. I'll tell you this: there are a lot of companies that come and shoot commercials, and they'll rent some of these big houses for a month or two to shoot commercials. In some cases, you can rent some of these homes there for a day, and so you can either use somebody's house and ask me to use your their backyard, or you've got a nice house that you might be able to rent. He's got a nice there. apartment in Roswell. The apartment yeah, complex is beautiful. I, I know, I know a warehouse they're going to blow up for a movie in my neighborhood. <laughs> you can come in there the day before they blow it up and have your wedding there. There we go. Maybe we'll just rent an Airbnb house. Why not? And then not tell them we're having a wedding in it. Good lord! <laughs> but how much? Is, right. What about your wedding? Theodore. No, it was only about fifteen thousand dollars for the whole wedding. We, we got good. married in an Italian restaurant in Westchester, New York. It was called Rudy's. We Fazoli's. Did. Well, it's in the back oh, of the Italian artist. restaurant. <laughs> Red sticks. We did. It. He Dude, got married in an Italian. If restaurant. you do it at an Olive Garden, you get unlimited uh, breadsticks. We, we, we thought about that at the time. Hey, you know, we we upscaled one to Rudy's. We'll just take two orders, please. <laughs> Somebody get Scalini's on the horn. I mean, what are we waiting All right, for? What, what other? But you know, people had a great time. You know, we had a buffet and people dance. We got married out in back. It was on the Hudson River, so it was very pretty That's in nice. the back of the restaurant, but you can still do it for a reasonable price. Right, you know, Scully landed a plane on that river. <laughs> What other pieces of advice, Ted, can you give Nathan's here? Please. Well, I recommend you know trying to use local stores, and you can deal with the local vendors, you know. And so, when, again, oh, yeah. when you're getting a cake, or a uh, good example is if you're going to get a photographer or videographer, you have places like SCAD here, and you have kids that have talent, or some people that are just starting the out. SCAD that, it sounds like herpes. It's Savannah a College of Art and Design. SCAD's a big here. Oh, big I'm sorry, I didn't know. Oh no, yeah, yeah. big this. Sounds yeah. like you need a cream for it. You get a night. <laughs> you get a 19 year old with a camera going. This is what I'm going to do for a living. You're my first wedding. But you know they're oh, cheap when out. they start start out, you know, people that do video and things like that, because they still do a pretty good job, or you get photographers that you want to try and find someone that has a single owned business that just, you know, they don't have a lot of employees and things like that. There, there are a bunch of them that I know that they'll shoot it for a pretty reasonable price. You know who are the cheapest photographers to hire? Blind photographers. They charge <laughs> half price. They Get are it. extremely affordable. I can't even laugh at that. Because not all the time you're in the shot. Because they're guessing. <laughs> yeah, they're just, they're guessing. And what the camera does is it beeps when it gets everybody in focus. <laughs> I tell you what, though. Stay as sober as you can. Stay on your photographer because I hear nightmares of photographers like, oh, we forgot to shoot you with your mom. I forgot I can't see. Or can't <laughs> see. Uh, you, you, better re you better record the, the moment. photographer without hands. Doesn't you, yeah. too? <laughs> all right. But, I, you know, you were talking about music, too. I don't think Jason was actually wrong about this. Of course I mean, you he's could, not. Well, you could say there's five-piece oh, fans or DJs, but you know, if you set it up right and you're going to again do it on a lower cost, you can set up a whole track on your computer and get some outdoor uh, equipment and do it pretty reasonably cheap yourself. If not, do there are DJs that you can get that are cheaper than doing a full a full band. I put together a hell of a playlist on my Amazon Prime account that I have no problem sharing with you. Put it on right, shuffle. Good. You're good. Put uh, it on the shuffle. problem is a lot of people think you know when they do the wedding that my goal is I'm going to try and make back what it is that I spent. In the never wedding. do it, and it never happens, hey. you know, because somebody's going to give you some stuff that you really didn't want, Call and them. you know, now there's some weddings, Jason, where people are like, "Don't even give us money, just make a donation." I was this close to having collective soul, and I got contagious and said, "But you know, there, there's we can go big." What were you sick with? Stupid. Huh? You said you got contagious. The band's <laughs> called Contagious. Oh, okay. They do great this journey close. covers, okay? They do great journey covers. This close to having Contagious at my wedding, but I couldn't pull it off. Oh, we heard Zika. How does Collective Soul feel they were bumped for Contagious? <laughs> you know? They were booked at some other guy's uh, Moose Lodge <laughs> wedding. Ed Roland had to choose between me and a tour. All right. Hey, Ted, thanks for joining the conversation. That was fun. Uh, yeah. How can people find you on some more serious stuff, like if they want to buy what? <laughs> well, look, I actually K's? wrote a blog on this. If you want to know how to do your wedding, I've got a whole blog on how to do it for under $10,000. Or if you go to the website now at oxygenfinancial.net, get a copy of my book, 100 Smart Money Moves to Make Right Now, especially in this election time. Go to oxygenfinancial.net and we'll get it out to you. All right, there oh, you go. All I right. just wanted to remind you, I'm going to see Ted today. I'm getting... Uh